Hi guys, it's Katie, and today I'm doing a different sort of video, which I don't normally do on my channel. I do very few of these videos where I really just talk to you guys. If you guys are involved in any sort of like field or hobby or something that involves being creative and coming up with ideas like YouTube, you get ideas in the strangest of places, most likely. This is how I usually function. Like I was sitting in math today, pre-calc to be exact. We were sitting there learning something and then all of a sudden, boom, I get this idea in my head for this video. And so on the side of my notes, like in the margin, I was writing down all of these ideas for this video and my next test won't go over so well, but at least I'll be able to help you guys. Maybe I'll learn a thing or two about myself from making this video, who knows? The topic of this video is confidence. I've gotten a lot of just messages and emails and things like that recently asking me how to become more confident. A lot of us aren't going to be getting Valentines, which in our society is basically, if you don't have a Valentine, you're not loved. That is so incredibly false like your husband or future husband or future wife is out there somewhere right now doing something and they could be filing their nails or <laughs> what why did that come to my head so I guess what I'm trying to get at is confidence that's what I'm making this video about because a lot of people lack confidence and it's very very easy in our society to lack confidence because all we see on a day-to-day -day basis is all of these I'm not even talking body image we see all these successful people and we think wow we aren't as good as them which is not necessarily true, but obviously our minds are corrupted by this corrupt society that we live in and everything is just bleh. And it's always been like this, even from the beginning of time. You know how nowadays girls would do anything to be skinnier, but back in the day they actually wanted to be more plump. So they would take like supplements to make themselves grow like curves and get more fat. Like that is how far our society has come. It's always been that way. Like it's always been that someone is going to have something you don't and you're going to feel bad because you don't have that, even though that person that you're envying or that you're lusting over or something, they have their own insecurities. They have their own battles that you don't know about. Let's make up an example. Demi Lovato. I had no idea she was struggling with, with cutting herself or just having a, a bad self-image. I would have never ever guessed that she was doing those things to herself and that she felt that way about herself. So you really don't know. I guess part of the reason why people are so like lacking in confidence is because they try to live up to expectations that aren't really real. They're kind of just fake expectations. They're expectations that they think that they should be able to be, but in actuality, the bar is so much lower than that. Basically, you don't have to be perfect, perfect in a sense, to have a nice life and have fun and be a successful person. Pretty much, I've put together a couple of ways to be more confident, I guess. That's, yeah, bingo. Number one, this totally came to me today because I dressed relatively nicely today. I didn't wear this, I just changed because I felt like an Oxford makes me feel more, you know, confident. I don't know. It was, one, so much different than the way that a lot of the girls at my school dresses because it tends to be at my school, like, one person sets one sort of trend and then everyone else just does the same thing in different variations. So today I was like thinking, wow, this outfit's cute. It's not going to be like everyone else's outfits that everyone else is wearing at school, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not cute. So I wore an outfit that I wouldn't normally wear, and I got lots of compliments, one, which was an instant, you know, confidence booster, and then also I just felt so good. Some people feel good when they wear sweatpants to school, which is totally, totally fine, but for me, I feel more confident when I'm like polished and I like look professional and good. I'm sorry if I keep looking over there, I'm thinking, and I look to the left when I think. That's totally my opinion, but try it. It might help you. And also Oxfords. As I said, Oxfords make me feel really, like, put together and really smart, even though school doesn't really come naturally to me. I'm just a, usually, like, a B student. I got a C last semester, and I'm not too worried about it because I know I tried my best and that's all I can do. So uh, I'm not that great at school. So I like to wear Oxfords and pretend that I'm great at school. Ooh, I forgot a button. I am sorry. Wear what you want and don't worry about what the rest of the people are going to think because their opinions are irrelevant. First and foremost, it's you that you're trying to make the best you you can be. My purpose in life is to strive to become a better me, whether it's becoming better at the things that I like to do, like editing videos, or just becoming a more generous and less judgmental person. I'm really quick to judge, and I, I recognize that that's a flaw of mine, and it's probably a flaw of many people, but I feel like it's a big one, and I should not be so quick to judge, but I am. 
and I'm trying to change that. Dress like you're going to meet your worst enemy today and see how that goes. I also feel very confident when my shoes have that little click to them, like when I'm walking down the hallway and I feel like a teacher. I like to have authority. I like to have like influence and when I'm in a class, I'm going to participate. I'm going to get involved with things. I'm not just going to sit there and watch my life go on without me because that sounds like a boring heck of a life. So I guess the lesson here is get involved and do the things that you like and wear the things that you like because that will make you an overall more confident person. Because if you're trying to be a copy of someone else, that's gonna kill your confidence because if you can't live up to that person, say you're trying to be like your best friend, your best friend is really cool and you wanna be just like her. And trying to live up to that person's standards and just that person's perfection is going to be exhausting for you and you're going to get let down and you're going to fall hard because you think that it's necessary for you to be like someone else or be like a certain thing, like a mold. I, I use the mold of perfection quote so often. You don't need to be like that because being yourself is a whole lot easier, one, and it gives you room to make mistakes and not feel so incredibly like a, like a failure. So the next segment, if you will, of this confidence video has to do with boys because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I have it marked on the calendar. And you and I both know I will not be having a Valentine this year, which isn't a big deal, even though this is the 17th year in a row that I haven't had a Valentine. I know that having a boyfriend or having a boy or talking to a boy or anything about that isn't going to define me as a person. Deep down, I do kind of feel a little bit empty not having someone else. As much as I want to sit here and say, like, you don't need no man. Deep down, I feel like I kind of do. And that's another one of my flaws. As humans, we have this, like, fondness of having someone else with us. Even if it's, like, going to the bathroom, girls travel in a pack. And I know guys hate that and whatever, but it's, it's, a, it's like this instinct. Like, you want to bring someone with you. You don't want to be alone. And I always feel this. Sometimes it is nice to be alone, but then again, sometimes you just want to have someone with you. Even if it's someone, like, going to church with you or going to the bathroom with you. We like to have, like, love, you know? It's a very appealing thing to have love or to be loved or things like that. It's okay to feel kind of down the dumps that you don't have a boyfriend, but it's not okay to feel like that has to rule your life because you can get past that. You can continue doing the things you love to do and a guy will find you eventually. Maybe not right now, like maybe not Tuesday, a boy will find me and be like, I like you. Maybe not, but maybe it'll happen next January 12th or the one after that, or maybe February 17th or something. Wait, this is, did I say January? This is February. It's okay, just take a breather, just take a breather. Another thing to boost other people's confidence, not only your own, is to compliment people. Um, today, this actually was kind of inspired by something that happened today. I was wearing a semi-cute outfit. I curled my hair today, as you guys can see. It's a little bit crazy now because I uh, had the top down in my car or not the top down because I don't have a convertible but like the sunroof down because it was really really nice today. I spent a little bit of extra time this morning getting ready just not for any apparent reason just because I like to get ready and feel pretty and everything. I was in class and a guy told me that he thought I looked pretty today. It wasn't one of those flirting ways like we're really good friends and so we've had history but it's not like we're going to be dating or anything just because he told me that but literally it made me feel so good even though I kind of brushed it off and I was like oh thanks. It literally made such a difference in my day so I challenge all of you guys to do at least one act of kindness like that a day. To go tell someone or maybe like one of your close friends, your mom or something that she looks nice or you like that scarf or like good job answering that question or things like that. Just give a little compliment because you have no idea how much of an impact that could have on someone's day. Really, in the end, being confident is up to you. If you don't like something that's going on in your life, change it. If it's distracting you from your hopes and your dreams and just being yourself, then that's an issue and you need to get rid of that. Get rid of all the negative energy, get rid of bad habits and bad taste and things like that and just become a fresh new you. Finding yourself is the whole point of life and hopefully by the end of my life when I'm on my deathbed, I will be happy that I've had so many mistakes because it's built me up to the person I am. I hope I'm proud of who I am when I'm on my deathbed, so hopefully you will be too if you follow these tips. So that's all I wanted to say in this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!